fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. Indian companion Tuttle, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver, the danger of the trail ahead. Come on, Silver. In the years following the gold rush, many men in California rose to fabulous heights of wealth and power. One of these was Arnold Gerson, whose wealth reached out to develop the vast resources of the Far West. Unlike the thousands of gold seekers, adventurers, and parasites who sought to grab only what they could hold in their hands, Arnold Gerson was in the Far West to stay. Gerson saw the growing influx of the disreputable element and knew that they could and would destroy what he and others like him had wrested from this land of promise. He decided to strike at the heart, the infamous Barbary Coast. In an effort to stamp out the viciousness, Gerson sought for and found the Lone Ranger. This masked rider of mystery, though reluctant to leave the plains and mountains of the cattle country, answered the call and soon found himself fighting a new type of criminal in the Barbary Coast. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Lone Silver, faster boy, faster. Lone Silver, boy. Look out for that knife. Oh. Yeah. Your warning did no good, my friend, then. Eh? Stingery, you gave it to him in the back. Yeah, he's true. It is because he tried to step on me. With my enemies, it is ever so. It is for that they call me Stingery. You're the most ruthless critter i ever seen. No one knew where Stingery came from. In his veins, he had oriental blood mixed with that of many other nationalities. His skill with a knife made him notorious throughout the Barbary Coast. And it was generally known that his cafe was merely an entrance to the sinister cellar dens for users of drugs, chiefly opium. Stingery, I've got to see you. You are looking at me. I mean... Maple, say what you mean. I was standing by a minute ago when you ran your blade into that lover. Yes, he was disposed of, was he not? Well, he was, but old Dipsy was standing there. He'd been down below, hitting the opium. Not for very long. No, he didn't have much cash tonight. Then he had better find some. Dipsy or anyone else does not patronize my place on credit. The point I was trying to make, Stingery, is just like this. He didn't like it when you gave the lubber the knife. Ah. 
Am I to care what a worthless fool like Dixie thinks? He might make trouble. You know how things are nowadays. Oh, tell me, Maples. Sit down and tell me how things are nowadays. Now, you know, boss. Even even Red Dreg Hay Raven's worried with the way that newcomer's been making trouble. Ah, the newcomer. Yeah, they call him the Lone Ranger. I know. He's already sent a few boys to jail. <laughs> jail? It never happened before. Jails are for the weak, the foolish. Jails are for those so infantile in their enterprise that they leave proof of all they do and witnesses. Before I rot in a jail, I would just play upon myself. The Lone Ranger and that redskin that's been working with him, well, they put some mighty smart men in jail and we've gotten proof again them, too. They brought in law officers that ain't on your payroll or Raven's payroll. Honest lawmen. Please state the point to which you are directing this conversation. Dipsy. He was a little sore when he couldn't get all of the stuff he wanted on credit. He saw you run the knife into that critter. Yeah. He's likely to squeal. <laughs> Who would take the word of a man like... Uh, perhaps I misused the term man. Yeah. Who would take the word of a creature like him? Well, he could tell the Lone Ranger how to get to your cellar where all the opium's handled. <laughs> Come. I will dispose of this. Man. I thought it'd be a good idea. His death will result in the loss of very little business. He has had no money for weeks. Where is he? Oh, he was at the end of the bar when I came in here. Yeah, I'm downright worried about this Lone Ranger. So is Greg Raven. When Raven's worried, there's cause to worry. Bowling. Howdy, Stingery. Yeah, he's deep, sir. Oh, uh, that old worthless hunk of buzzard food. I threw him out the front door. I see. Did I do wrong? Stingery, what's the trouble? Under ordinary conditions, you did right. But now we must change small details of our tactics. Hey, Stingery, there he is over yonder. There's an old woman with him. An old woman? You going over? Yeah. The mud's up to your ankles. I have servants to clean my boots. Hey there, old woman. We'll take care of Dipsy. Take him, Mabel's. Give the old woman a gold piece and send her away. There you are. No. No, don't let him get me again. Don't let him take me back in there. Stingery will get me. What's the matter with her? Doesn't she speak English? Yeah, I'll strike a match and see what she looks like under that shawl. You not bother. Oh. You're another one. Oh. I will kill you. Keep my fellow with like before. I show you. Oh. Oh. You got them both down the mud. Get clear. Get away fast. Here, Scout. Me take you along. You ain't a woman at all. You're an engine. You will. You come up here, fellow. Oh, mercy me. Get up. Scout. Stingery, Stingery, get him! I threw him last night. Use your gun. That's right. I got away. That, that, that was an Indian. Indian, that's what I thought. Dressed as a woman. Oh, he hit me an awful hard cry. Why did you not shoot sooner? I was out cold. Must have had a hook iron in his fist. Me, Stingery. I tried a knife. It is of no avail. Me, Stingery. Stingery, listen to me. My crows, look at them. Stingery, you got to calm down and listen. That redskin was a one, a friend of the Lone Ranger. And he took Dipsy with him. Lone Ranger will hear about your place from Dipsy. Maybe he can get proof of some sort now. Uh, I will act. I will not wait for this Lone Ranger. I will act at once. Uh, I will go and see Raven. Drake Raven will know what to do. Tano hurried from the muddy streets of the Barbary Coast to the small, well-concealed camp where the Lone Ranger was waiting. In a few words, the Indian explained how he'd rescued Dipsy and brought him to the camp. I'm over here near the fire. What's your name? I... I got no name. They all called me Dipsy. You did have a name. I don't know. How old are you? Well, I ain't as old as I look. I ain't no good. But I, I was afeard. I, I know Stingery. He was sorry to let me out of his place. They should have killed me. You've, uh... Been going there to use opium, haven't you? Uh, what's the difference? Who cares about me? I... Here, take it easy. Oh. Hello, let him lie here in the blanket. Cover him and fix some warm broth. Uh, he picks him. Poor old fellow. A wreck of a man, if I ever saw one. But maybe him tell plenty that help us. Hello, I've heard of Stingery, but he's just one of the many who take orders from the boss of the Barbary Coast, Greg Raven. That's right. We stand in front of Stingery's place. Keep watch for a long time. This guy's is a woman? Not right. What did you learn? Fella come from Raven Roost. Give bundles a fella in Stingery's place. We hear him talk. 
bundle hold plenty opium. Opium, those fiends. So Raven supplies the opium. That's right. There's only some way we could get evidence against Stingery. With the organization that's been built, it's almost impossible to get proof that we'll stand in court. We go there with plenty, men. Too many lawmen are in the pay of the crooks. Our plans would be known ahead of time. We'd get no evidence. Uh, that's right. I'm going to call an obligation. You go there now? Yes. What you do there? I know something about the laws in California. See just what has to be found in the way of it. You go there now? Yes. What you do there? I know something about the laws in California. See just what has to be found in the way of evidence before the law can act with men who deal in dope. Here, Silver. You're heading out, big fella. Otto, you stay with this old man and take care of him. We might have some information we could use. Stingery went to the rear room of Greg Raven's cafe, the Raven's Roost. He found Greg and several others, hard-faced men, seated around a large table. But there was one man who looked far different from the others. He was tall, his face was white and clean-shaven. His hands were well-groomed and slender, and he wore a conservative black hat, black suit, and white shirt. Sit down, Stingery. I want, uh, about to send over to your place. Yes? And why? Why, Raven, were you about to send for me? I wanted you to meet this gent. Hmm. I would have been here an hour ago, only I had some trouble with an Indian. An Indian, I said, Raven. You know what I mean? Friend of the Lone Ranger? Yes, he was dressed as an old woman. He disarmed me. Me, Stingery, to be disarmed by Indian. Stingery, that Indian and the masked man that's with him have gone too far. That's why I've got Warden Waddles here. Who? Shake hands with him. Waddles, it's here Stingery. Handiest man with a knife that ever lived. <coughs> I'm delighted to meet you, Critters. Who are you? Sit down, Stingery. Uh, Waddles just got in from Denver. He had to clear out of those parts because of a few tricks that he does with cards. Not a gambler, he's not sure. Uh, but an unkind feat is dealt from the bottom of the deck yet. A fool in Denver who wouldn't trust me. Up my sleeve. Yeah, I'll... never mind why you had to light out of Denver. You're here now, and we're going to make good use here. You help us, Waddles, and you can have more cash than you'd make in a year at dealing from the bottom of the deck. Singer, wait till uh, wait till you hear my scheme. Yes, I am interested, Raven. Well, you can see for yourself that Waddles looks like a fine gentleman. His face and hands are as white as a girl's. And his clothes ain't got a spot of dirt on them. Well, I'm explaining to him how he's to go and call on Arnold Gerson. He's to pose as a reformer that wants to help clean out the Barbary Coast. Yes, and not as Arnold Gerson to do it. Gerson's the one that got the Lone Ranger on us. Now, you see? There remains much that is to be explained. I'll give you all the details after the warden leaves. He's got to get going before it's too late for him to call on Gerson. Start out, Waddles. Remember the play as I outlined it. <laughs> By the time the Lone Ranger had ridden from camp to the mansion on Knob Hill where Arnold Gerson lived, one Warden Waddles had already been there with the millionaire for some time. There was a rap on the window of Gerson's library. What? What is that? <laughs> Stared at you, huh, Waddles? Yeah. Well, that's a friend of mine, one you'll be glad to see here. <laughs> and the way you jerked around and reached into your coat, I thought you'd come up with a gun. My friend, the man in my position... Oh, come in. I'm glad you're here. <coughs> Mr. Gerson, I... Oh, it's all right. This is Warden Waddles. He's offered his help in smashing the Barbary Coast. I see. The masked man. The one about whom I've heard so much. Your name is Waddles? Yes. And through my work in trying to lift the fallen creatures of the world of trial and tribulation... I knew the ins and outs of most places. He was explaining that he could get into the inner chambers and the cellars of almost every place in the Barbary Coast. Things have reached that point where it's necessary that a strong hand of righteousness wield the sword of justice and vengeance. I came here tonight to ask Mr. Gerson about the laws of the state. There's one man who's a ringleader in the underworld. Greg Raven. I've heard of him. I want to smash him. I know his place. I know it well. You have no idea, Warden Waddles, how much your help will mean to me. I can understand. I know from Mr. Gerson how you've had to fight practically single-handed. Well, my friend, now we can fight together side by side. 
And I'm sure you'll find that my help will lead to unexpected results. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Arnold Gerson's library, the Lone Ranger and Warden Waddles discussed plans for smashing some of the worst places in the Barbary Coast. Well, now where do we stand? Well, Mr. Gerson, have you a deck of playing cards? Cards? Why, yes. I want to use them for a moment. Well, I have some right here on the table. <coughs> Curious, but somehow I never thought of you in connection with playing cards. They can be used for a lot of things other than gambling. Can't they, Waddles? Oh, well, I don't know why. You, uh... Probably wouldn't. Oh, here are the cards. Will these do, or must you have a new deck? Well, these will do very nicely. Shuffle them, would you please, Waddles? Why, yes, of course. And then put them there on the table. We'll cut, you and I. But what are we cutting for? What's on your mind? You and I are going to attack Greg Raven. Yes, I know. One of us will have to do an unpleasant piece of work. High man does it. Well, uh, you cut first. Valley. A three. Not very high, is it? A ten. Well, it's up to me. But what is that assignment? What are you going to have to do? As long as I have to do it, there's no use wasting time on detail. Well, oh, perhaps not. Wait, what is it? It's uh, nothing, I guess. Probably a night bird. We uh, left the window open. You, you startled me. And me. I declare you're you're acting rather unusual tonight. It's an unusual night, Mr. Gerson. Now, as to our plans, Waddles. Tomorrow night we'll attack Raven's Roost. Yes. We can take him by surprise. I'm sure we can find enough evidence to put him in prison. Well, Ed. You'll have to play your part, though. I explained to Mr. Gerson that I was in a position to be of help. Now, I'll have a group of men who will attack Raven's Roost. And I? Can you be there at others to make sure no evidence is destroyed? Of course. And see that none of the secret doors are closed? You may depend on me. Now, look here. Are you sure you can get enough reliable men to make an attack of that sort? I think I'll have all the men we'll need, Mr. Gerson. Well, I hope so. But there will be great risk. If we're successful, there will be great results. Warden Waddles left the Gerson mansion in high spirits and hurried to the Barbary Coast, to Raven's Roost, and to the office where Raven and Stingery were waiting. Gentlemen, the results far exceed my expectations. All right, Waddles, never mind the palaver, get to the point. Did you see Gerson? I did. How did he take your scheme? I told him how I was in a position to know the inside layout of certain places. But while we talked, the masked man came in. Dead in low range unit? Yes. Why didn't you shoot? Well, I had no gun. Would it look well for me, a reformer, a man of refinement and high principles, to go about armed with a lethal weapon? Uh, that's right. Well, tell us, what worked out? Tomorrow night, the Lone Ranger, the group of men with him, plan to attack Raven's Roost. My place? <laughs> that's good. And we know all about it ahead of time. I am to be in Raven's place to be sure that no one shuts the doors to the cellars and make sure no evidence is hidden. Oh, All good. you have to do, Raven... It's arranged to have a score of good gunmen on hand. They will be. Just to be on the safe side, I better get rid of all the opium I got on hand. Yes. I'll send it to your place, Stingery. You can keep it with the stores. I'd better not let any customers around tomorrow night. Just the gunslinger. I'll be here, too. You will give this low ranger the biggest, hottest reception he ever got. And the last he ever gets. During the next day, the Lone Ranger and Tonto fed and nourished poor old Dipsy, and at nightfall brought him to the sheriff where he might tell his story. 
But the lawman was none too optimistic. No matter what he tells, masked man, it would take more than his word to get a jury to put Stingery in jail. I was afraid it might. The only way to get them is to find the opium in their possession. And that would convince a jury? It might if you could show that Stingery was selling it to the poor devils. Critics like Dipsy here. Very well. Uh, Dipso, this is the first time I've seen you in months when you got your chin above your chest. I, I found a friend. There's nothing wrong with this man that can't be cured by decent living. Well, I always said the same. I ain't sure the Stingery. You I don't know. Never... You say that. But as long as that den of his exists, he'll find a way to lure you into it. If you have any money to spend. Well, you said... I that. said you were going to help us smash the thing that nearly smashed you. You still think I ain't done for for keeps? Of course you're not. The sheriff needs men like you. The sheriff needs everyone who's willing to oppose rats like Stingery. He would have killed me. Sheriff, I want this man sworn in as a deputy. Dipsy? Deputy sheriff? For tonight. Well, if you say so. Mr. Gerson's told me about you. After leaving the sheriff's office, the Lone Ranger raced to meet Tonto. Then the two guided their horses to the shore where no lights from the streets and honky tonks broke the other darkness. Horses of the hotel, Tonto. This would be a good place to leave the horses, Kimo Sabi. We tie them to old Doc, huh? Yes. We'll go on foot quietly. While the Lone Ranger and Tonto made their stealthy way toward the row of Barbary Coast dives. Drake Raven sat in Raven's roost with the gambler who had posed as a reformer. Well, how's it look to you, Warden? First aid, Raven. First aid. There ain't a man here who don't wear at least two guns in the night. As long as they can use them, that's the thing. They can use them. How about the dope? Send it all over to Stingery. Oh, here he comes now. Hello, Stingery. Yeah. Looks like we're all set. Yeah. When the Wolf Ranger and his gang come here, they'll see the room of the usual number of Peters, but they won't know that everyone has been told about his coming. There will be nothing until the signal. And then 20 guns will speak as one. I should get him tonight for sure. How things at your place, Stingery? I told the bartender to keep out everyone that looked like he might make any trouble. Good idea. Did you get the opium I sent over? Yes, I put it with my supply. It makes me sure that we got to worry about the law. I'll be glad when that lone ranger and all his notions are wiped out. We will all be glad. Hey, it's about time for that masked man and his gang to show up, ain't it? Just about. Now, boys. Yeah, yeah. Don't open fire till I give the word. Let them get well inside this place so they can't get away. All right. All right. The lone ranger and Tonto made their way through the muddy streets. Ahead, they saw the Raven's Roost, and a few blocks further on, the sign that proclaimed Stingeries. The Raven's Roost, Toto. Greg Raven's place. Uh, I wonder how well the plan will work out. I do not know. Oh, wait here. Can you see inside? Ah. Uh, plenty of summer in Raven's Roost. Raven's Killers. Stingery there, too. And I see Waddles. Ah. Uh, Come on. We're going on to Stingeries. Faces in back of me. Keep me covered. Keep your back against a wall at all times. Uh, me no. Hello, Keep your hands where they can be seen. It's the masked man. What's he doing here? I thought he was going to rave us. I'm wrong. It's an old ranger. Hey, right where you are. The one is to leave here. This ain't the way it was planned. All the handy boys are raving. Watch yourself. I ain't doing nothing. I'm only the barkeeper. Get back against the wall and stay there. Tada. Take their guns and line them up. Uh-huh. Me fix them. Get over there next to the bartender. Quickly. The men in Stingery's place were herded against a wall and searched by Tonto for weapons. Then, while the Indian held them, the Lone Ranger dashed to the rear, opened the door. All right, Sheriff. Come in and bring your deputy. Come on, Dipsy. I'll show you where the drugs are used. I know the way to that underground den. Go ahead. If we can get evidence here. We'll get it tonight. Stingery and Raven and all their government are waiting for us to show up somewhere else. Here's the place, Sheriff. Down this ladder. The chance I've been waiting for. <laughs> Meanwhile, Greg Raven was increasingly uneasy as he sat in his own cafe with Warden Waddles, Stingery, and a score of murderous gunmen. 
Well, I don't just pass the time when that masked man and his men should be here. Or what's the delay? I do. You, Raven, I thought you'd be here. Me, Stingery, sitting here waiting for him. Now, oh, shut up. If we've been fooled... I said shut up, Stingery. I'm still giving orders. Waddles, if you had any double cross in my... No, 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 no. Hey, Stingery, that's your bartender that just came in. Hold him. The masked man in the law. Watch, talk that. Well, I, I ran all the way here. They just left. The sheriff had taken below the dipsy. He went out with a whole load of drugs and a half a dozen critters that used it. They've arrested the whole kit and caboodle. Oh, that's someone who'll pay. Waddles, you hear that? You and your big ideas. Stingery had been at his place with his gunman. The law would never have gotten in. They never would have found any evidence. Look, I tell you, I, I don't You know. that had everyone here in my place waiting for a raid. I will attend to him. I'll take care of this personally. You, Stingery, get out of here. Get back to your own joint. But Raven, I, I need help now. The law will arrest me. Yeah, and you'll squeal your head off. You'll tell who sold you the opium. That'll involve me, won't it? I wouldn't squeal on you, Raven. Uh, you liar. You'd squeal on your own mother to save her neck. Well, get this. The law's never got me because I never gave anyone a chance to squeal on me. Raven, you are my friend. You and Raven. I are... And as for you, Waddle, don't look at me like that. Eh? Boy, take these two out the back way. Show me old Donald. Oh, 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 oh. my bank in the morning, Deputy. I'll give you a steady job. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Gerson. Thanks, no end. Now you can thank that masked man. The button will show you out. Yes, sir. I'm a man again, by Juniper. Now, well, won't you sit down? We can talk in this library. Well, thanks, Mr. Gerson, but I must leave. Toto's waiting. It's a good night's work. Stingery is smashed. He and Waddles are dead. There's no way to prove that Raven's a murderer. So the head man is still free. Yes. Away oh, before you leave. How did you know that Waddles was an imposter, that he was a gambler? Well, I was just outside this window before I tapped, and he sat here with you. Yes, I remember. I tapped when the window startled him. His hand went for a gun beneath his coat where gamblers carry theirs. It was a strange gesture for a man such as Waddles claimed to be. And I asked for cards. The way he handled them and shuffled them betrayed him. And to make sure, I frightened him again. And he went for the gun that wasn't there. So you knew then that he was a gambler? The rest was simple. Raven sent him, so we used him to our advantage. Close the window after me, will you, Mr. Gerson? If you can only get Greg Raven. Please, Greg Raven knows he's in a war. A war to the finish. <laughs> Okay.